That is Ferdinand. Well, and his girlfriend got me. <laughs> She's so shiny. Everything, all that light bounces off of her. Gonna, oh man, she is nice and full this morning. Wow. So guys, yesterday she gave me, I think it was 7.15 ounces or 0.446 pounds. You know who you are. <laughs> I love it. Thanks. <laughs> I'm just going to zip through this just like I did last time. I just wanted to show you how easy she has been milking. Like a Ferrari up here. Her leg is probably right in the way, but I'm not even going to try to move it. For you guys that are wondering, I'm not just fiddling around on my phone. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds. I just milked her dry. It took me at least five seconds to open the app. So I just milked her dry, like dry, dry. still has more in there. I just I just wanted to show you guys the point that <laughs> some people were concerned about Ferdy getting enough breakfast. I just wanted to show you how fast they actually replenish the milk. That was 30 seconds and she was right back in just pumping it out. So all right I will show you guys Ferdy and mom reunited and it feels so good but that's not the focus of the video today. Come on mama. You wanna come see Ferdy? I haven't swept yet. There's your boy. <laughs> so guys, she lets him eat all the time. A lot of questions, and I get it, and no, I totally get it. Like don't don't think I'm coming at anybody. I just I like to answer questions. I like questions asked, questions answered. This is actually nice for me to be able to directly answer some questions for you guys. You guys see her kick him off all the time. It's not because she's not feeding him. She might be in the process of weaning him. And what you see is a couple of seconds on camera, generally. Well, like now she's cleaning his butt, giving him a good sniff. He's doing his thing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. He's a big boy. Since he's a single buckling, and he's gotten all the milk. He's a big boy for being five weeks old. I think he's five weeks old today. Do you see her kick him off? It's because that's just the part of the video where he's had milk 50, 60, 70, 80 times, or at least he's tried to. He literally eats every five minutes or wants to eat every five minutes. And you know, she'll feed him up good and then she'll be like, get out of here. But since he's a single, he gets all the love and he wants all the milk. Now his squirrel moment kicked in. He's like, oh, he's candy. Just know he eats plenty. You guys just see her kicking him off all the time because he's probably already been on her six times in the last minute. <laughs> so, all right, I'm gonna cut away from this and I'm gonna go talk about what we're here to talk about today, which is the Bucky Boys. Dun, 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 dun. Who are we gonna go to first? We'll go to Snickers first because he he he's a sketchy dude. I got farm glitter all over me. I had to bring the boys some hay. Okay, so I don't really talk about the Bucks much and I should. Everybody wants to know. Inquiring minds want to know if you're old enough. If you're old enough. So this is the Buck Barn. It was built for Stink Face and Stink Face 2. It is 80 square feet, which according to all the math I've ever seen, which I think is too much, you can do approximately one Nigerian dwarf goat for 10 square feet. That's based on housing, not living. By housing, not living, I mean this is where the boys come to spend the night to eat their food to get out of the rain i would not use it as a lock-in you guys have to live here 24 7. i don't believe that would be enough space that being said this is the boy lot for all you noobs it starts right there with that fence right there with the white tether on it which essentially is right off of the edge of the of the porch 
this is this side that's where if this fat guy got excited and ran from me and put a little bit of dent in the fence oh, blah, blah. do we want to talk about you do we want to talk about you first okay Sir Fluffington, you can go back, you can watch his video, he is adorable. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <sighs> so we had some people interested in buying some sheep, very interested. Interested to the point that we went out and bought fluff. Then that interest waned and went away, and now we have a Sir Fluffington and two sheep that we don't. I mean, we let them in for him to breed last year, but that's not part of our plan in any way to continue to maintain sheep. So I've said it before, I say it again, Sir Fluffington, Little Mama and Pez, all available for a stellar deal if you're close. Now he has not done this. He has not messed with me in weeks. I'm not here to fight you, bro. I will lock you out. Come on, come on. Nice try, butterfly. I don't know what it is. Maybe he doesn't like the camera. I'm serious. He has not. Uh, he has not done that in weeks. I think he just doesn't like the camera. So the buck lot used to, from where I showed you, the fence there to this fence here, which is probably two, three four five probably like 80 feet 100 feet uh times 32 feet that way it was plenty for jack and snickers and then we went past this area so there's the barn so we went past this area gave them probably another 150 to 200 feet out that way i'm not walking all the way out there up to the middle of the fence we basically divided that whole pasture in half the girls were up there the boys were down here then we decided to move the girls out here on this front look how well they've cleaned up this creek guys oh there's my trash can oh and a bucket i couldn't see any of this until i got the, sh the goats in here and they started cleaning it up so my trash can was clear down there yesterday we had a minimum 24 hours of 25 mile an hour sustained winds with gusts up to 50 45 to 50 mile an hour gusts uh, some gusts were recorded at 60 mile an hour yesterday in ohio northeast of columbus anyway so as we expanded our bucks because of the need for diversity in the herd, we added Caramello. He's a beauty. He comes from what is now, which used to be Kovacs Mini Farm, is now Red Diamond Dairy Goats. So we had Snicks, we had Jack. They pretty much came together, same age, got the same amount of love. He doesn't want to be touched. Jack is a big love ball. Kevin's dad. Jack is Kevin's papa. So we added Caramello, and then Mama wanted to keep the beard. <laughs> Mr. Latte. So this is the Buck Barn. I built this last year or two years ago or three. I don't remember anymore. 2020 never happened. <sighs> okay, so this is our original hay feeder when we had like four goats and two sheep. I would just throw a square bale in here. It would get them a few days. Throw another square bale in there. This used to live in the big barn. In here for our deep litter, we're about a foot deep, if not more right now. What I let happen, and you guys can see it looks Look how, look how beautiful that looks. Perfectly well spread out, dry hay on top. It's all fluffy. It's got some poop in it. It's got some hay in it and it's dry. So what I do is I just put the hay in the feeder. These goofballs run around in here fighting and arguing and uh, spread it all around. And then I don't have to do any work other than carrying the hay over. So these guys are doing great. You guys know they were a little down in the winter there. Jack's had meds for worms and coccidia. Mellow's had meds for worms and coccidia. Snicky Pants has had meds for worms and coccidia. The only one that's not had a problem is a uh, little beard there. So we'll meet the boys. Actually, I gotta feed them. I totally forgot. Let me grab their food and then I can talk about them. All right, let's just watch the boys get crazy. It's calm right now. These two always fight over the food. I just wanted to show you guys how they're doing as far as eating goes. I don't know why these two like this red dish. They just they just do. <laughs> it's just, or they have a little bit of a battle going on here between each other. He's no slouch. I mean, I'm telling you, Latte, the little guy here, he is no slouch. He just pushed a goat off twice his size. I'm not sure what, he'll definitely be second in command here. No doubt, if we keep him. Uh, latte and Snickers might get sold depending on what we get this year as far as what we're looking for. So what that means is if we're thinking, we're just thinking, 
If Ginger has a blue-eyed pulled buckling, we'll probably sell latte and Snickers. So let's go over Snickers here. Mr. Snickers' actual name is Katapa Hill Jag, and he comes from a goat Jag Lightning, Thunder Jag, and he is related via like a great grandpa or something to Puddin and Muffin. But that face marking of his, where he's got that white X on his face, he's not gonna show me. And I don't want to interrupt him eating. I want them to eat as much as they can. He comes from a line called Star David and a lot of them have that face marking and it is pretty cool and it is very very strong putting a muff throw babes like that all the time he's got it Puddin has it muffin has it i say it's a, a, an x on the face but it's more like the way that white doesn't touch the nose it just spreads down the face and leaves the nose so it kind of looks like an x mr snickers our little chunky man there he is a uh, gold i don't understand people when they write brown dark and dark and, and light brown that, that it's not he's not brown he's a gold goat he is pulled he I mean he was born without horns so you guys know and blue eyed jack i'm glad to see you're back in full swing there buddy throwing your weight around telling the boys who's boss <laughs> He needs copper, that's clear. He's starting to turn red. So if you have a, if your goats are starting to show this little bit of red frosting on their tips, that's generally a copper deficiency. So we'll get him coppered. Jack's actual name is Black Jack, which is a candy. Yeah, I'll just go Google that. And his real name is uh, After Dark. And he comes from some pretty decent lines. He's got some Old Mountain, uh, Zanzibis, Tiny Tubbies, and Dills in there. So he, he's legit. He is black and white, Swiss, and he's also moon spotted. I don't see any moon spots on him, but he has to have had somewhere at some point. He's a beast. He's not going anywhere. He is disbudded, which means he was born with horns and the horns were removed. <laughs> and he is blue eyed. And he's the biggest sweetheart. You guys know he is the biggest sweetheart. He is the papa of Kevin. Just so you know where Kevin gets his goof. Not buddy. His Swiss mark last year, uh, I think we bred him with Tic Tac. And she threw a chamoise Swiss little beauty. We were calling her Aspen. I don't remember what Tracy renamed her. I think we named one of them Swiss Miss and one of them uh, Aspen because they both had so much of the Swiss marking on it. So the Swiss marking is, guys, go to, I will put a link in the description down below. You can go to the Nigerian Dwarf Collar page and you can just blow your mind with colors and patterns and genetics. Hi handsome. Look at that beard. Look at that beard. <laughs> I don't remember who he's the offspring of. I think Latte is the offspring of, I think he is a Jack Sprinkles baby. Which is why he's crazy and he's going to be a leader. So that's Jack in a nutshell. Okay, then we bought Caramello from Kovacs Mini Farm last year, which is now Red Diamond Dairy Goats. Uh, <sighs> His actual name is uh, Ziomar, or Chiomar, Ziomar. He's a little love bug too, don't you buddy? You're a little love bug too, yeah, I know. I know, you're a little love bug. Yes, I'm reading my notes. He is, he is like, obviously he's, he is legit, legit as well. Lots of stars. He comes from a plus star B, a star B, a four star, a camera eater. I don't, do you have camera eaters in your line? Okay, give me some, give me. Give me some space. I mean, he's a star bee, comes from a star bee, and a five star milker, which comes from a star bee, and a four star, and a plus star bee, and a four star milker. He's legit. He is. <laughs> I'm probably gonna breed him just. To... Probably. Hey! Probably gonna breed him to gummy. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that now. Just saying that now. Mm -mm. If y'all married folk out there understand, mama does not wanna breed him to gummy because she has other plans, but we'll, we'll have further discussion. <laughs> she thinks this little peasant dog is gonna get bred to my gummy gumdrops. And he's awesome, he, 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 has, he has great lines because he comes from Jack and Sprinkles. So he, he's no slacker, but are you sucking on my shirt? Are you sucking on my shirt? Are you look a little boy boo? You look a little boy boo. This time of year, guys, your bucks don't smell. They have a little bit of like a residual like bucky smell to them, but it doesn't rub off that much and they don't really stink So you can actually pet your bucks <laughs> Hi, buddy Oh, yeah, mr. Jack you're you dude those bangs. He is I'm, I'm telling you man He is like the biggest sweetheart on the planet. Oh, buddy You know except for other boy goats. Mr. Caramello here aka Mello. Uh, he's black. He, he's he's I'm gonna have to stand up. He is black and white and he is disbudded and brown white. And then we have over here in the short and cute category. 
with an awesome beard. You're getting an awesome beard. You're getting your daddy's bangs. <laughs> Mr. Caramel Latte. He comes from Jack, who is after dark, and Sprinkles. Personally, if you want to know why Sprinkles is cuckoo, her actual name is Pennywise. Pennywise. You guys ever seen Pennywise the Clown? That be her. Would you stop? Don't. Oh. Hold on, I will explain that situation in one minute. So Latte comes from Jack and Sprinkles, and they come from all their stars and stars and stars and... Look at you. And he is pulled, meaning he was born with no horns, so now we can breed him. He, he has the same qualifications as this guy, except he's tiny right now. He couldn't get the job. Well, I think he did get the job done. So um, he is pulled, born with no horns, blue-eyed, which matches the, the same description as Snickers. So we'll have him to breed to our brown-eyed horned girls. Because <sighs> <laughs> he's young and he has no quit in him. Huh. So anyway, that is Mr. Latte. Pretty much sums it up. He is actually listed as a, I think H listed him as, so I'm gonna give you guys the link. And I want you to go look up the Nigerian Dwarf Collar page. She listed him as Kublonk. So you have Kuclair and Kublonk. Kuclair technically is just, I think if I get it right, it's splitting hairs, basically. Kuclair would be a little darker in the front. Kublonk would be a lot lighter in the front with the face markings and the little triangle face and the, all the things that go with being a Kuclair or a Kublonk. So I come in here the other night, I'm gonna wrap it up with this. This dork. So, okay, let me go back a little bit. When it's warm outside, I keep their bucket outside because when I put the bucket in here on the bucket hanger, which is right here, they poop in the bucket. It's here, it's a butt level, it's always a butt, it's, they poop in the bucket. I come in here the other night, I'm feeding the boys. I'm glad I was here, I'm gonna take this off. I just took the bucket off, so it's not been just floating in here, I wouldn't do that. Jack is, comes over here and starts sucking on this ring. Well, look how this thing is shaped. So Captain Curiosity killed the cat is sucking on this, gets his mouth all the way on here, and then this hook gets up in that little V on the bottom of his jaw, and he is stuck on here. So right up in the bottom of the goat jaw, you know, obviously where their jawbone comes together right there, there's a little V. He has the ring in his mouth, like this, and the hook, like there, just like he got caught like a big old fish, and he's just stuck there, screaming and hollering. <laughs> are, you, are you nursing my finger? Who's a big boy? Are you serious? I'm letting this happen. He's literally nursing my finger. Uh, that is the weirdest. I've never had a, an adult goat do that. Hilarious. <laughs> You're such a goober. Look, you don't always have to want to fight. So anyway, I get goofball and I get him off of that thing and all was well with the world. There was a little bit of complaining because he, he was he was stuck on there pretty good like a fish like you pick up a fish like that that's how he was stuck on there just like that what a goofball and i think that's it guys oh you're gonna need a little bit of will you oh no danielle thank you for this guy look at that face look how handsome this boy is you got a little burn on your nose that might be urine well, that's from urine, but your ears are getting a little red, so you're going to need copper, too. Everybody gets copper. So that's it, guys. Bucks are pretty easy. They, uh, you know, they're not generally trying to die as much as the girls are. They're just a bunch of goof. Look, he's side-eyeing Snicks around the corner there. He's like, oh, you want some? Come get some, bro. But there's generally, I mean, uh, during breeding season, they're going to tussle a little bit. and But there's a pretty decent pecking order. Once I get in here, I get them fed. Everybody calms down like this. I love this guy. I love them all. I try to love you, my friend, but the man with the most quaff beard ever. Look at that. It's even it's even multicolored. It's dark up by his chin. It's gorgeously blonde down by his the bottom there. <laughs> What's up? I will leave you with I still don't understand that they were both babies. They both got the same amount of love. We used to come over here and sit with them in the yard. He would come lay on H's lap, just lay on her and get the pets. This guy has always just been skittish. Just always skittish. And I really think that just happens sometimes. Same amount of hands on, same amount of love. Doesn't really, maybe a little closer to wild. I don't know. Don't really know. Just is what it is. He's never come out of it. I'm always in here. I always try to pet him, talk to him. It's a big old no dice on that one. So you, I know. <laughs> he's a sweetie he's a lover not a fighter if you guys ever watched him breeding the girls good night takes you like three hours to do the same thing this guy does in about three seconds yep 
Yep, that's the boys. Y'all know Fluff enough. You've seen him enough. Yeah, he's out there all dejected. That's everybody. This is the final get to know the goats video. As we add or detract, you guys will see those. Obviously, I didn't want to pet you anyway, Bubba. Such a weenie. And that is why we have the black and white goats. Because they don't pass anything but black and white. And then mom's colors will dominate. He's like a big dog. He's just like a big old puppy. Just get me behind my ear. Just get me behind my ear. That's your beautiful <laughs> a little mucky eye. I get hay dust in their eyes sometimes. Oh, do I not know? Oh, do I know? Oh, do I know? I like to be able to pet you guys when you don't stink like burnt rubber. I do. Oh, look at you. Look at you. The uh, weight gain is going really well, guys. Fattening up. The necks are feeling good. Jack's put a lot of meat back on his on his back right here you want to be able to feel the ribs you don't necessarily want to be able to see the ribs and i guarantee you if i shaved him down you'd be seeing some ribs he's he's doing really well he's fattening back up he's getting chunky he's fighting for food he's pushing the boys around he's taking charge again so sometimes you miss stuff but you can't miss that oh buddy oh go to sleep <laughs> you gonna go to sleep on me and those blue eyes are gorgeous and that is all, and we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.